I'm Aida Dami Fatmarani from Squatchy Kasurabaya. We'll be presenting a research titled Adolescent Journey Towards Self-Actualization, a study on high school students' online and offline identity in Surabaya. Today's adolescents have two identities in their daily interactions because of social media. The first one is offline identity that represents the real self, and the second one is online identity that represents the ideal self. Based on Roger's theory, the real self and the ideal self must be congruent for individuals to self-actualize. However, with these two separate environments, it presents a high risk of incongruence or self-discrepancies. It is especially more prevalent during the pandemic when adolescents' average social media usage is 11.6 hours per day. Some of the risk of self-discrepancies include maladaptive behavior, anxiety disorders, and low learning achievement. These are dangerous for adolescents who are in the most crucial part of their identity formation because it could last until adulthood if not identified and defined early. So in order to minimize the risk of self-discrepancies because of social media, this research explores high school adolescents' online and offline identities in relation to their journey towards self-actualization as they are in a pivotal step of their identity formation. Here are the research questions of the study. The research methodology used is phenomenological research to gather data from the perspective of high school adolescents through semi-structured interviews. The subjects who are chosen include a 16-year-old male adolescent and a 15-year-old female adolescent using a purposeful sampling method. The data shows that both of the subjects are more sociable in all interactions using their ideal selves, but there are differences between these two subjects. The first subject stated that he is unwilling to be more open in offline interactions and unable to find any similarities between his online and offline identity. Meanwhile, the second subject stated that she has practiced to be more open in offline interactions and she is able to find various similarities between her online and offline identity. There are several factors that influence these differences. External factors include parental involvement and past experiences, and internal factors such as the ability to appreciate the real self. The differences between the two resulted in very different influences. The first subject hasn't achieved self-actualization and has identity incongruence because he uses social media as an escape from the real world. He experiences negative impacts like reduced offline interactions, extreme emotional fluctuations, social media addiction, and defensiveness. The second subject who has achieved self-actualization uses social media as a tool to help her achieve her ideal self. She experiences positive impacts like increased social skills, stable emotions, happier, and self-reflection. In the future, a psychoeducation intervention program could be conducted in high school based on the data from this research. And for future research, it is recommended to use Marcia's identity development theory or do online and offline observations to get a more thorough understanding of the two identities. Thank you.